Uganda's parliament has passed a bill which would criminalise people who identify as LGBTQ, with those found guilty facing up to 10 years in prison. Under the proposed legislation, friends, family and members of the community would have a duty to report individuals in same-sex relationships to the authorities. Homosexual acts are already illegal in the East African country, but the bill seeks to go further and criminalise people on the basis of their sexual identity. The bill passed with widespread support in Uganda's parliament. In our country, we will have our morals, we will protect our children, and we are making this law, we are making this law for ourselves, we are making this law for our children, we are making this law for the children of our children. This country will stand firm. And once it passed, I can tell you, Madam Speaker, we are going to reinforce the law enforcement officers to make sure that homosexuals have no space in Uganda. We're joined now by Oriam Nyeko, who is a researcher at the Human Rights Watch Africa Division. Really good to have you with us and thank you for joining us on BBC News. Can you tell us a little bit more about what this draft legislation does, what it will change? So the current, the current law in Uganda basically prohibits uh, same-sex acts. It's been in, in, in the law for decades. It was inherited from the British and really hasn't been implemented. Uh, so what the legislators now are wanting to do with this new bill is to criminalize homosexuality as a whole, to make it such that any person that has sex with somebody of the same sex uh, commits a criminal offense, as well as anybody who, uh, in their words, promotes homosexuality also commits a criminal offense. So they're wanting to really ensure that anybody uh, that's affiliated with uh, uh, homosexuality is punished by the law. So this will have serious implications, won't it, for any members of the LGBTQ plus community in Uganda? Certainly. I mean, the idea, the notion that somebody should go to prison because they've had consensual sex with somebody who is an adult is, you know, it's, it has, can have, you know, wide-ranging impacts. Not just the fact that it's now going to be a criminal offense, but the fact that it, what it's essentially doing is, uh, is, is endorsing homophobia. It's, it's, the government is, would say that it's all right to discriminate against people because you think that they are homosexual, because you think that they are having sex with somebody of the same sex. And that can have, we've seen in the past, it having a wide ranging impacts on people's lives and their livelihoods. Uh, but it's going to make things even worse going forward. The Ugandan parliament, as we've been discussing, has passed a draft law. How likely is it to be approved and actually become law? So the next stage is for the president to assent to it. He has to, his, his, his job basically is to sign it if he agrees with the terms. He's, in the past, he, there was a similar law that was passed about two years ago, the Sexual Offences Bill, which also criminalized same-sex acts, but he didn't sign it because he said that uh, the law, the penal code with that, uh, that colonial remnant that prohibited same-sex acts already provided for that, so there wasn't the need for a new law. Uh, but in this case, uh, the, what the parliamentarians did very deliberately was to repeal the penal code uh, provision so that this new bill won't, that the president can't make the argument that, 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 that the new bill doesn't provide for, that the new bill provides for an existing crime. So it's either he, he signs it and if he, if he doesn't sign it and sends it back, the parliament can also uh, vote it back in. Uh, if they get a two-thirds majority. And we saw yesterday that the bulk of uh, parliamentarians were in support of this law. So it's, I think, very likely that whether uh, President Museveni signs it or not, uh, it's likely to go through. Oriam Yeko from Human Rights Watch, the Africa Division. Really good to have you with us on BBC News. Thank you for your time. Thank you.